All right, we're here today with Matthew McIlvain, professional hockey player uh, at the MLX Performance Center here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit today again about the range of motion with the MLX skates, the uniqueness, the ability to flex forward, but also uh, with the tendon guard to flex uh, backwards. So, uh, Matthew, we're just going to talk a little bit about what that as a professional hockey player. Uh, you knew that this skate looked a little bit different. We talked about the performance of it being a little bit different, but what do you as a player actually feel? Uh, I should say first, I was a little bit worried about having a shorter boot. Uh, I was really worried about my ankle support. Um, what I'm finding is that the skate's moving in all the right places for me. I'm really able to flex forward. Uh, I can really get extension here. And then as I'm pushing off, I really feel like I can use my tendon guard to push off of. So I'm really able to create, generate force against the ice through my, using my tendon guard. So as I push off, I can feel my skate pushing against the tendon guard, uh, creating force into the ice. And why is it important to really get that to get that knee bend. Is that important to you when you're power turning or you're actually getting in battle in the corner? Absolutely. Or where do you find that most beneficial that you really have that flex forward position? I mean, absolutely. We're getting you know hit all the time. So, I mean, to be able to ha have your knees in the flex position uh, for contact in the corner, um, also accelerating. Uh, I've never had a skate where I can accelerate like this before. And I think a big part of it is because I'm able to generate so much knee bend forward and my skate's really flexing for me. And we see a lot of players that when they get tired or really try to accelerate, you see them really have a tendency to bend their upper body this way, but really if you can see their knee bends never really change. They're just bending from the torso. What we want to do is actually skate from the knees, right? And come down here in a good power position where we can really explode off that skate and, and get some good power, right? Exactly right. And you can also, you know, as you start to get tired, you can cheat the, the knee bend just by driving your knee forward. So now my knees are still bent but I'm using, I'm using the skate to my advantage by being able to flex forward. Yeah, that's a great point, Matthew. So thanks for coming to the Performance Center here in Milwaukee. We're glad to have you a part of the team, and uh, we look forward to a good year together. Absolutely. All right.